Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Mike Matei, coming at you with my PSA DNA authentication reveal. So, uh, I, sent a, I sent a couple of cards, about you know, 10, 12 cards, to uh, PSA to get authenticated. As uh, many of you know, I do a lot of TTMs uh, through the mail autographs, and I like getting my autographs authenticated and slabbed up. Not only because uh, it authenticates the autograph, but they look I mean, it preserves the card, preserves the autograph, and they look great slabbed up. So, uh, I uh, submitted my card to Gareth, Gareth Unra at Slab City. He's got a, he's got a uh, Facebook page, and uh, he accepts uh, raw autographed TTM cards to be uh, authenticated. And uh, he's a great guy, very trustworthy. He takes care of your cards like uh, they're his own. So, uh, let's get on to this reveal here. So, once again, thank you to Garrett and his wife, Tiffany. So, uh, here we go. This is the first card. I picked up this card at a show, I believe, for about three bucks. And, uh, sent it in to get authenticated. It's, uh, Charlie Silvera. And this was the basic authentication where they just authenticate the card. The full service lets you know what type of uh, what card it is like tops and stuff like that so this is the first card picked up this card at a show for three bucks and it was authenticated it is a genuine autograph old timer Charlie Silvera next one is a popular Yankee from the 50s 40s 50s and 60s I believe uh, Hank Bauer and that autograph came back authentic I sent this in TTM when he was still alive, obviously. He's passed away since. But uh, he was very good through the mail. So, I have a couple more I have to send in. You know, authenticating is expensive, so you got to go easy. You got to take your time and go slowly, or else you'll be in the poorhouse. So, uh, this is a Dave Rigetti. He was a Yankee starter, a Yankee reliever. He pitched a no-hitter on uh, uh, July 4th. In the 80s. And uh, he was a great reliever. He was a great coach of the San Francisco Giants. And that's how I got this autograph. Through the mail, I sent it to the uh, uh, San Francisco Giants. In care of San Francisco Giants at Oracle Park. And uh, got back to me in about a month and a half. So, sweet autograph. Dave Rigetti. It's an authentic auto. Next one is another old timer here. To uh, Ralph Hauk. He wasn't a great player, but he was a great manager. He managed the Astros, I believe. I think he did. Yeah, he managed a couple of teams. I picked this up at a show. Uh, show also for about five bucks. I was. Uh, I wasn't sure if that was a real autograph because it looks like it was signed in black pen, but. Turns out it was real. Took a shot. Turned out it was real. Happy to add that one to my collection. And then uh, Tony Dorsett. I got him through the mail. I sent him two cards. He signed both of them for a fee. $10 per autograph. And uh, I should have done a, a full service so they could say what Topps card this was from what year. But uh, I don't know. Hall of Fame. Usually I get all my Hall of Famers with the... Uh, Full service, I screwed up on this one. Oh, well. It's an authentic autograph from Mr. Tony Dorsett, Hall of Famer. This next one is, uh, I picked this up. No, no, I did a TTM, Mike Wagner, and sent him two cards. One was just a plain old football card with the football on it. And just look at that signature, man. Signature is amazing. Sweet, sweet signature. Mike Wagner, number 23, four-time Super Bowl champ. So this also came back authentic. Next one uh, is uh, Y.A. Tittle. Mr. Tittle has passed away. I think he passed away about three years ago. But he was a great TTMer, man. Everything I sent him, he anything I ever sent him, he signed. So I'm a Giants fan, so I sent him a lot of stuff. I sent him 8x10s, cards. So, um... Yeah, he signed it right there. That's his autograph. Y.A. Tittle. Hall of Fame 71. 
and see the difference here this is a full service and they tell you what card it is what year it came out so this is a 1988 swell greats and the autograph was authentic I got this through the mail rest in peace Y.A. Tittle great quarterback and uh, this I also got through the mail and this again is the full service you saw the other basic service at trading card and the full service indicates uh, well specifies what card it is so there's a 1974 tops Paul Warfield he's a Hall of Famer I send this through the mail I did not know that he requires a donation I believe it's five dollars but he signed my card anyway and send me a little note stating that he required a donation in the future. Paul Warfield, Hall of Fame, 83. Happy to get this one back. And his autograph was deemed authentic by PSA. Then we have a uh, Hall of Famer, Len Dawson. He signed my card. And, uh, I send this through uh, TTMs, through the mail. And it came back. I sent a $10 donation. And he signed the Len Dawson Hall of Fame 87. And I've sent him before. He doesn't add the Hall of Fame. So I got lucky. He had a Hall of Fame 87. So got very lucky with that one. So that was an authentic, deemed authentic as well. And I uh, have this uh, 1990 Pro Set Herb Adderley. I sent this to the mail. I included a donation. I believe it was five dollars at the time. I think its price has gone up since. But this is also deemed authentic. Signed at Herb Adderley Hall of Fame 80. Very sweet, one of the great Packers. And this I also uh, sent out through the mail. TTM. Uh, I think his donation. He requires a donation as well. Ten dollars. Which is a bargain for all these Hall of Famers. If you go, I go to a lot of shows, and when you go to these shows, they're at the very minimum f Hall of Famers, forty to fifty dollars. So, sending a ten dollar donation, taking up their time, having them sign your item, ten dollars is the bargain. So this too was uh, deemed authentic, and there's his autograph, Bobby Bell Hall of Fame 03. And last but not least, I picked this up at a show. It was like in a $5 bin. That's uh, John Riggins, Hall of Famer. He, his greatest years were with the uh, Redskins. But he was a Jet. And I love this card because that's uh, Shea Stadium where the Mets and Jets used to play. So, uh, great card. Sucks he signed it over his face. I wish it would have been a little bit more to the left. But what can you do? He signed it. John Riggins Hall of Fame 92 and there it is 1972 tops John Riggins authentic so folks that is it hope you enjoyed my little PSA DNA submission reveal I always like getting my autographs authenticated I'm doing a project where I'm trying to get all my football TTMs authenticated and then I've got a little pennant says uh, NFL Hall of Fame and I'm just going to frame all the pictures around the 8x10 so I mean all my cards around the eight, uh, pennant so uh, guys thank you for tuning in I hope you enjoyed this quick video reveal of PSA DNA authenticated cards I should have some PSA cards coming back real soon and I'll do a video when those uh, arrive someday so guys thanks for tuning in really appreciate those of you who do tune in on a constant basis uh, if you like this uh, video, please give me a like. If this is your first time, please subscribe. Uh, leave a comment if you wish. Share this video. Download it. Do what you need to do. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you for tuning in. I will catch you next time something ends up in my mailbox. Take care. God bless. Peace.